India is in the midst of a COVID-19 pandemic. If the COVID vaccine has to be given, then a cold chain has to be maintained. And a cold chain of 2 to 8 degrees is what is required. India does not have sufficient cold chain capacity and it has to be given a boost. Scientists at the Indian Agriculture Research Institute have developed a gridless, battery-less refrigerator that can work, you can see behind me, and give a temperature of 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. Works on solar cells and also uses coolant so that it can cool at night. I have with me Dr. Indramani, he is the head of farm engineering and Dr. Sangeeta who has developed this gridless, battery-less refrigerator. Uh, Dr. Indramani, please tell me what this refrigerator is and how does it work? Basically, uh, this is a gridless, battery-less, as you said very well, that gridless, battery-less uh, solar refrigerator. We call it sun fridge. Mm -hmm. We have given name sun fridge. Because uh, I, initially we developed it for on-farm storage of perishables. So under is, what is kept inside the fridge? Inside, we, we have an AC. AC which is run by only uh, solar system. And uh, in addition to that AC, we have a water. That water is cooled in the daytime when sun is there, energy is being produced and AC is running. And so night what time, are these tomatoes kept there for? Tomato we have kept uh, just as a, as a, because tomato is a perishable crop. We are testing that how we can, uh, we can enhance the, uh, you know, uh, uh, this uh, uh, storage life of, self life of tomato so that without any physiological loss, without any shape loss and without any uh, value loss, we can store this and farmers uh, uh, there in the field, if they are, they are having uh, tomato crop, they can store it past seven days, eight days without wastage. So that, yeah. Dr. Sangeeta, what is the capacity of this fridge which we see behind us? It's what is called a sun fridge or yeah, a farm sun fridge. Less, uh, gridless fridge? So it's, we are naming it a farm sun fridge because it's an on-farm storage structure. And it's around two tons capacity, 2,000 kgs of fruits and vegetables. And it's the initial farm gate structure. The, the farmer, as soon as he harvests the produce, he can put it there and whenever he wants, he can go sell it. Very good for apples, very good for tomatoes and a similar other produce. And, 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 and Dr. Mani, can this be converted into a smaller thing if the Ministry of Health or the Niti Aayog or the Prime Minister wants for smaller fridges, which can then be multiplied very quickly to store the COVID-19 vaccine? Yes, it is very much possible. This is presently, as uh, Sangeeta told, that it is two-ton capacity. We can reduce the capacity. There is a requirement even from the uh, you know, ministry that it's, we, you should increase the capacity also. So we just uh, by uh, you know, redesigning the things, solar system and uh, rest of the capacity, we can reduce the size, reduce its size for use for different purposes, I including for uh, uh, storing COVID-19 vaccine. So I can, I can add to this because I'm an electrical electronics engineer. So we would change the design a bit so that the refrigeration system in the COVID corona vaccine structure, small thing, can run directly from DC. So we can surely do that, yeah. And, and how much do you think it would cost uh, Dr. Sangeeta to make this small fridge, which is gridless, battery-less, yeah. and can help 1.3 billion people get a cold chain and we can well we can we can try to here. yeah this this one costs around 5 lakhs but it's 2000 kg so you want a small ice box kind of thing i don't know what capacity yeah. but the small one would cost very little I, as far as i can think of maybe it's it's just a guess you know it's like maybe max 50000 max so so there you have a gridless batteryless refrigerator that can give two to eight degrees temperature and it does not need electricity to run it. It can run on solar power. And if India wants to multiply its capacity for cold chain, especially for delivery of the COVID-19 vaccine, which is the greatest need today, then some 
innovations in this technology can go a long way in giving India a sustainable cold chain. So if a vaccine has to be stored at 2 to 8 degrees centigrade, scientists at IARI have almost a ready-made solution. So Dr. Indramani and Dr. Sangeeta, if you ask me, made something for farmers, but it can help all of India. At the Indian Agriculture Research Institute in New Delhi, Palav Bagla.